Our story begins here, in the small west of Ireland town of Castlebar. Well, it actually begins in a car park in Westport. While on his break at work, Stephen Radigan looks through his phone and sees an article for the most frequent Guinness World Records to be broken. Then I just started looking through Guinness's website at all the different records, not thinking I was going to apply for one, but I saw the longest marathon group hold that it was 25 hours and 10 seconds. And I don't know why, but I just hit apply now. I filled out an application and then six months later, I had forgotten about it, but I got an approval uh, email from Guinness saying that my record application has been approved. So I just thought, you know, it might be a bit of crack to actually try and do this. But first I needed to find people that were daft enough to do it with me. Hello? Hello, Brian. Yeah, what's crack? Jesus, man, how do we go to the Jacks? So that's a yes then. World record. Guinness book. Yeah, I'll have a, I'll have a think about it anyway. Fucking idiot. The four men who would attempt the record are Brian Cauley, Nikki Kearney, Sean Conway, and Stephen Radigan. And they would have to hug for 26 hours to beat the current record at the time of 25 hours. While doing the world record, they decided to do it for charity and raise money for the Irish Cancer Society. They called it the Hug for Cancer, with a Facebook page to help promote the event and raise donations. So with the venue picked and the date set, the countdown was on for the 26-hour hug and tensions were running high, as seen in this video. On the 28th of October, the four of us are going to attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the longest group hug. So, it's taking part here in the Ivy Tower Hotel. I f***ing no. off. Oh God, oh God. Right. Okay, hang on, I'll just keep it recording. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. alright. Come back, Sean. Come back, come back. <laughs> right, come on, all I need is one f***ing take of it. Right, okay. On the 28th of October, the four of us are going to attempt to break the Guinness World Record for the longest group hug. Sean, you're going to have to f***ing laugh at that. Okay, I'll tell you once more f***ing out. I don't give a f***ing. I'll call f***ing and ask him to come back. Seriously, I'm so I'm sorry, Sean, but I just have to f***ing do it. So you broke it twice, I broke it once. Come on, please. Alright. Sorry. The day had arrived, and the four huggers had a long night ahead and they were going to stream the entire 26-hour hug live on Facebook for the world to watch. But could they last for 26 hours? An incident happened after 4 a.m. that nearly ruined the attempt. So it was about halfway through our hug, um, about 4 or 5 a.m. in the morning. We were dying, we were on our last legs, and... The night porter offered us coffee, like shots of espresso. I don't even drink coffee, so... I don't know why I said yes, but I suppose anything to keep us going, keep us awake. So I said, go on, give me a shot, so we, we couldn't use our hands. So then he went around with the cups and he would each give us a little sip of it. And when the coffee got to Nicky, um, who said he'd never drank coffee before, so Nicky got the hot coffee in his mouth, wasn't expected to be hot, and spat the scalding coffee all over my arm, which made me just break the hug, as you do. And technically we had broken the hug. I mean, a split second. And um, yeah, we thought we failed it. That was automatically just straight away drained us all. We all thought it was gone. I kept saying sorry and I just couldn't get over it. And the lads were like, look, it's done now, just forget it. We, we said we're going to do it, we have to finish it. And we all did, we all said, look, it's, it's about raising the money in the first place, so. We as well to give up. We said, no, we got back in the hug and we kept going and we survived the night.
Then, nearly two years later, the Irish huggers would get the shock of a lifetime. The world record they held was broken in Japan by three students. They made the decision to hug it out once again and take back the world record. However, they were a man down. With Sean in Australia, they recruited Robert Toomey, another local man who was happy to join the team. The new record attempt was going to be even bigger and better than the first one. With the approval from Guinness, they were ready to hug it out once again. And it was Foster and Alan and the hug. Uh, it's a kind of an appropriate song to play this morning because back in 2017, uh, two young men, well, relatively young men, uh, who are in the studio with me this morning broke the Guinness Book of Records for the longest marathon group hug in the entire world. It was an official Guinness World Record at the time. Uh, and it was fantastic. There was great jubilation and celebration. But they're back on track again to do another hug because sadly their Guinness Book of World Record uh, was broken, uh, unfortunately, and uh, they want to re-establish the title. This hug was sure to be more challenging as it was taking place outdoors in the center of Castle Bar Town under a big tent. This time, the guys decided to raise money for two charities, Western Care Association and Pieta House. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one, go! No, but we just want a, a massive thank you to everyone for coming out and supporting us and for donating. Like, we could not, it's not about us. If all of you didn't donate, we wouldn't have done what we did. And we've surpassed our 6,000 goal for our two charities. And if Guinness don't give us the record now, after that.